Hello everyone, I am Sahala Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Business Studies class. In today's session, let's continue with Chapter 12, Consumer Protection, Session 2. In today's topic, let's see the ways and means of consumer protection. Ways and means of consumer protection means, see there are various ways in which the objectives of consumer protection can be achieved. So now let us see one by one. First one is self-regulation by business. Self-regulation by business. See, a uh, large business, they have realized that they can grow and prosper only when they give more importance to consumers. And these days, many business firms have become socially responsible by producing quality products. And these days, they have also started various consumer grievances sell so that uh, they can give more importance to customers' complaints. Grievances means complaints. So many organizations they have uh, started uh, customer grievances sell. So that is the self-regulation by business. Second one is business association. See, there are various business associations like FICII and CII. FICII means Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and CII means Confederation of Indian Industries. So these are the various business uh, associations. So they have framed a set of code of conduct. Code of conduct means certain guidelines, rules and regulations for uh, dealing with customers. So that is business association. Next one is consumer awareness. Consumer awareness means to create awareness among consumers uh, regarding uh, rights, responsibility and also to educate them about uh, relief available under the Consumer Protection Act 1986. Department of Consumer Affairs, Government of India have created awareness among consumers by giving uh, advertisements on television. You would have seen on television, Jago Grahak Jago advertisement. So, Government of India has taken this initiative just to create awareness among consumers. Next one is consumer organization. Consumer organization, it plays an important role in educating consumers about the rights, uh, responsibilities and also uh, to provide uh, information or to give them education related to various remedies or relief available. And it also helps uh, the uh, various uh, consumers to get relief in case of any exploitation by business. So that is the role of consumer organization. Next one is government. See, government of India, it has uh, framed uh, certain laws and uh, legislation to protect the interests of consumers and it has also framed Consumer Protection Act 1986. This act has three tier redressal agency. You have a district forum, state commission and national commission. So these are the ways and means of consumer protection. Now let us see uh, who can file a complaint? Complaint na yaru kodbodu. Ibaga consumer forum ge consumer ge enadru mosa agidre yaru complaint na kodbodu anta nod. 
see any consumer can file a complaint on his or her own and he does not need any services of any advocate or lawyer yog yaar adru consumer hoge complaint na file maadbodu next is any uh, registered consumers association consumers association alli members agidre through that they can also file a complaint next is the central government or any state government can also file a complaint and next is one or more customers on behalf of numerous consumers having the same interest not necessary that only one person can give complaint on behalf of numerous people we can give complaint next is a legal hire or a representative of a deceased consumer suppose um, ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ತುಂಬಾನೆ ಮೋಸ ಆಗೋಗಿ ಯಾವ್ದು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಡೆತ್ ಆಗೋಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅವರ ಲೀಗಲ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹೈರ್ ಯಾರಿರ್ತಾರೋ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ನ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೂ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ದಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೀವೆನ್ಸಸ್ ರಿಡ್ರೆಸಲ್ ಏಜೆನ್ಸೀಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ three first one is district forum second is state commission and third one is national commission now let us see what is district forum district forum means here there are 644 district commissions in india so in this district commission we can find a president and two other members one of whom should be a woman and they all are appointed by state government of the concern and here a complaint can be made in district forum when the value of the goods or services in question along with the compensation claimed it should not exceed rupees 20 lakh district forum alli na hogi yavaga complaint kodbodu andre value of the goods athwa service matte compensation na veshtu claim maadirtivi adu 20 lakh kinta jaasti exceed aagbar so avaga na we can lodge a complaint or we can file a complaint under district forum and ee yenu goods athwa service or yenu mosa agirutte adanna avaru lab ge test ge anta ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದ್ರ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಫೋರಮ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ನ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಅಗ್ರೀವ್ಡ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಪಾಸ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಫೋರಮ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪೀಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಮೂವತ್ತು ದಿವಸದ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪೀಲ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಫೋರಂ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಟೂ ಅದರ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ವುಮೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಇವನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ concern and uh, here the complaint can be uh, made to the appropriate state commission when the value of the goods or services in question along with the compensation claim exceed rupees 20 lakh uh, but it does not exceed 1 crore the value of the goods and services yen irutte adr jothege compensation nu seri 20 lakh kinta jaasti 1 crore ginta kadame idre avaga state commission alli appeal maadabodu in here also the same procedure follows as in case of district forum if the aggrieved party is not happy with the order passed by the state commission he can appeal to the next level that is national commission within the 30 days of the passing order next is national commission see national commission has a territorial jurisdiction all over the country and uh, the national commission consists of a president and at least four other members and one of whom should be a woman and here they are appointed by the central government here also a complaint can be made when the goods and services uh, in question along with the compensation claimed when it exceeds rupees 1 crore 1 crore ginta jaasti exceed aadre avaga national commission alli appeal maadabodu here also same procedure as in case of district forum and state commission then if the aggrieved party is not happy with the order passed by the national commission he can appeal to the supreme court of 
India. So these are the uh, consumer grievances redressal agencies under three tier machinery under the Consumer Protection Act. Now let us see what are the relief available. If you have a district forum, uh, state commission, national commission, you have a district aggrieved party, you have a case file. If those three uh, tier agency, if they are happy with that, what reliefs they give to the opposite party? So, yen relief kod bodo, thwa yen remedy kod bodo on nona. First is to remove the defect in goods or deficiency in service. Our goods ali yen defect de adhana, they have to remove it. Next, to replace the defective product with a new product. So, hosa product na replace maad beku and that should be free from any defect. Our hosa product yen replace maad tare adu it should be free from defect. And next is to refund the price paid for the product or the charges paid for the service. They have to repay the price of that particular product. Next is to pay a reasonable amount of compensation for any loss or injury suffered. If you have an injury or loss, they have to pay compensation. And uh, to pay damages in uh, appropriate circumstances. In any circumstances, if they have to pay for any damages, for that also they have to pay. Next is to discontinue the unfair uh, trade practices and they should not repeat in the future. Suppose if uh, business concern, if they are uh, engaged in unfair trade practices, so that they have to stop and they should discontinue in the future. Next is they should not offer any hazardous uh, goods for sale. Hazardous means dangerous goods for sale and they have to withdraw the hazardous goods from sale. In other dangerous goods now to withdraw. Next is to issue correct advertisement to neutralize the effect of a misleading advertisement. Suppose if they are engaged in any uh, misleading advertisements, they have to uh, withdraw. And next is to pay adequate costs to the appropriate party. So these are the various relief available. Next topic is role of consumer organizations and NGOs. NGOs means non-government organizations. So our again role na play martha rehenta nona. First one is educating the general public about the consumer rights by organizing training programs, seminars and workshops. So they what consumer organizations do, they give, uh, do they usually they educate consumers about the rights, uh, their responsibilities, also organize from training programs, workshops, seminars by educating the consumers. Next is, so basically what these consumer organizations do, they, uh, they publish uh, journals, they uh, publish articles relating to uh, this consumer problems and the legal reporting or the reliefs available to the consumers. This carrying out comparative testing of consumer products in accredited laboratories to test relative qualities of competing brands and publishing the test results for the benefit of consumers. Yen no products ratte, adu nella no test marsi adu valle quality na atwa alva anta test marsi adu results na matte adu benefits na consumers ke tils korta re. And encouraging consumers to strongly protest against any unfair trade practices by the seller. Suppose if the seller is dealing with any unfair uh, trade practices, so it encourages the consumer to, to protest against those sellers. Next is providing legal assistance to consumers by way of uh, providing aid, legal advice, etc. in uh, case of uh, you know any uh, seeking uh, legal remedy. So basically what these NGOs and consumer association or organizations they do, they educate the customers how to file a complaint or how to go with the proper legal process or legal procedure. So they give education about that. Next is filing complaints in appropriate consumer court on behalf of consumers. Consumers parvagine ne appropriate consumer courts le urene case na file maartha. Then taking an initiative in filing cases in consumer court in the interest of general public not for any other individual. Like individual at the consumer obne la. Overall for the from the point of view of public interest. So they usually uh, go and file a complaint in a proper consumer court. So and I hope you have understood this chapter and here I am concluding this chapter consumer protection. Thank you.